net of a cone. Now what is net of a cone is, see the figure. See, now join both the sides of the portion. See, now what happened is, what is given in your book is, join both the sides of the portion of the circle in such a way, the arc of the circle, the arc of the circle falls on the boundary. The arc of the circle falls on the boundary of the circle attached at the bottom. Now, again, once again, I'll repeat. Now, what you have to do is, join both the sides of the portion of the circle in such a way, the arc, the arc of the circle falls on the boundary of the circle attached at the bottom. See like this, like this you will get a cone, you will get a cone. Is it clear? Now what did I tell you? Both the sides of the portion in such a way, the arc of the circle, the arc of the circle falls the, what do you call, falls the boundary of the circle attached at the, attached at the bottom so this this is the way you get this is a cone is it clear so what did you understand from this the length the length i told you the length forms the boundary length forms the boundary of the circle so both of them are equal in length is it clear net of a cone so the length of the arc the length of the arc forms the boundary of the circle and both of them are equal in length and only then if both of these are in both equal in length only then you can form you can form a what do you call conical shape is it clear now next to one there is a practice or activity given in your book now take your page number six see page number six there is there are six diagrams are given okay now what you have to do is draw an arrow mark to match the net with the shape which you will get when folded when you fold it you get the shape see first one This is the shape we have given, another one, second one, third one, third one, now this one. Uh, what is it actually the question is you have to match the net now this one will become like how when you fold it or when you fold it what happens what shape you get you get like this rectangular box like Rectangular shape. Now this one, what shape you will get? You will get a cylindrical shape. Now this one, what is about this one? You get a cone. you get a cone so you have to match the figure next fourth one what is the fourth figure when it is unfolded See now this what is what shape you get? You get a cube box. I think this I have already told you. Right? 
right now fifth one what is the fifth one they have given fifth one you get a broth this is a small actually small cone this one you get like this this is after you fold it when you fold it you get the shape now what is the sixth figure it is a rectangle now what is the shape you get you get like this so this is how so you actually i have drawn in front of this but your book activity you have to match it according to it i have drawn what is this uh, it is unfolded when you fold it you get this but your book you have to match it according to your figure given in your book see the next one we will go on with floor maps see in floor maps to make a house a floor map is necessary what is a floor map see here window this is also a window window this is what you call it as floor map this is door this is window here also window so this you call it as a floor map this is a floor map of a house see this house has got one window one window and one door in the front one window and one door in the front and two windows at the back is it clear now one window in the front and one door in the what do you call front and two windows at the back and one window on the left and the other window on the right side of the house this is the floor map is it clear now one window and door in the front two windows at the back one window on the left side one window on the right side now the view of the house after you draw it this is the view of the house like one window i told you one window one door and one this is one window at the right left hand side one window at the left but this is actually the view of the house is it clear now see a special way of drawing the house which is deep to show the length width and height is called a deep drawing now what do you mean by deep drawing is what is a deep drawing what is deep drawing means the special way of drawing it is a special way of drawing it is a special way of drawing the house drawing the house drawing the house which is deep which is deep to show the length to show the length the length the width the length the width and the height of the and the height is called and the height of the house is called as the deep drawing so i'll repeat what is deep drawing special way of drawing the house which is deep to show the length the length and the breadth and the width of the house this is what you call it as a deep drawing see next one try this see there is a floor map given what you have to do is you have to see this given floor map and you have to put a correct mark for the deep drawing of the given floor map see top on the top two windows are here at the bottom there are two windows and the left hand side is a door now did you understand two top and two at the bottom and the left hand side is a window now just seeing this diagram can you tell me which one is correct this one is correct or this one so i told you two at the bottom windows and at the top two windows and left hand side is your window so this diagram this figure is a correct answer see this figure is the correct answer because i told you at your left hand side is your door but whereas this one is right hand side but here left hand side is a door and two at the bottom so this figure is a right answer next one is drawing 3d shapes from 2d shapes next one is what drawing 3d shapes from 2d shapes p 
3D shapes from 2D shapes. See, you have square, then you have a cube. You have a cube. Next one, you have a rectangle. You have a rectangle. Then you have a cuboid. So, now what is it is, there are some of the two dimensional shapes. Now what is it given is, you have to draw the cube. See now, drawing the cube, drawing the cube, drawing a cube through squares. Now how will you draw a cube through squares? This is what we are going to do it now. See the first one, what is the first one? Draw a square on the paper. First one, draw a square on the paper. So this is the first step. First step. So first one, what is it? Draw a square on the sheet of paper. Now what is the second step you have to do? What is the second step given in your book? Draw another square as shown. Now what you have to do? One square already you have drawn. Now one more square you have to draw. Is that clear? Now next one, third one, what is the third step? Draw dotted line joining the corresponding corners. So you have to join the dotted lines. Now next one is, now what you have to do is, the next one, with this dotted lines, you have to draw a perfect, what do you have to draw? A perfect square or a perfect cube. Is it clear now? So what is the first one? You just draw a square, next dot, two squares like this and third one you just have a dotted lines and fourth one with this you have to join these dotted lines and make a perfect line over the other. So this is how you can draw a cube through the squares. Now next one using the same procedure you can draw a cuboid with the help of this rectangle. Now I told you drawing the cube through squares now next one, using this rectangle, you can make cuboid. Next one is, perspective view is a view of a three dimensional object on a 2D surface. Now you are going to draw the perspective view. Now what is the first step is, what is the first step? Take a sheet of paper, draw the front view of the metal plate. You have to draw the front view of the plate. This is the metal plate. Now what you have to do is, you have to mark a point here and above. You have to mark a point above. Now what is the second step? You join the three corners, one, two corner and the third corner. three corners. So that is your second one. 
Now the third step is draw a line across and extend it down as given in the diagram. Now this is the third step. Now fourth step erase the lines outside the new lines drawn. Now what you have to do you have to erase this. You have to erase it that is you have to rub it. Now that is a step. So this is one of the perspective view of the metal plate. This is one of the perspective view of the metal plate. Now next one a group activity is given. You can take different points outside the metal plate. Corresponding to each point you will get different views of the three dimensional object. Now I have done with a 2D surface. Now what you can do is with any point you can have and then you can you will get different views of the three dimensional object. See the first figure is the object. Next figure is the right view which is ultra L. Next figure is the front view. It is a straight L. So this is how you have to draw the perspective view of the object. Next one is your worksheet. First one, choose the correct answer. You have to choose the correct answer. Now first one, what is the first question? The three dimensional shape. The three dimensional shape. The three dimensional shape is dash. Now they have given options. Square. Rectangle, triangle and cuboid. Now can you tell me which is a three dimensional shape? Square, rectangle or triangle or a cuboid. It is the cuboid. It is a three dimensional shape. So this is the answer. Now what is the second question? Second is a cube has dash faces. A cube has dash faces. Now in your option 4, 6, 8 and 10. How many? Uh, A it is 4. B is C. Sorry B is 6. And C is 8. D is 10. Now can you tell me how many faces a cube has got? Cube has got 6 faces. Now third question. What is the third question? The right view of the object. I think already when I told you about the right view and the front view. Now how is the object? Can you tell me how will be the right view of the object? How will be the right view of the object? I said it will be this side L. It will not be straight L. It will be just opposite L. Like this it will be. Like this. So this is the right view of the object. So the answer is the second one is your right answer. The right view of the object will be always this side. L will be this side. So this is how you have to do your practice sums.